All right, we're going to show you how to merge duplicate vendors in QuickBooks. So why would you want to do this? So I'm going to go ahead and navigate first to our vendor center. And then if we look down here on our list, notice we have a city of Bayshore, and then we have a city of East Bayshore. Right, so per perhaps we had, I don't know, a new AP clerk come in and made a mistake and set up city of Bayshore uh, when we're really you know we're supposed to be using city of East Bay Shores. So what we want to do is we want to merge those two together. So merge all history so we're left with just one vendor, all history is under one vendor. Okay. So you have to be in single user mode to do this. And of course you have to have permissions. <laughs> so I'm going to pretend like we wanted it to be named city of East Bay Shore. Okay, so the easiest way, the way I suggest because of spaces and dashes and periods that are too hard to see sometimes. So I suggest going into first the name that we want it to end up as. Okay, now another thing, right, just besides looking at the name, right, I want it to be called East Bayshore. We also probably want to look at the vendor information on file. So this one has a build from, right, and it has a a city name but no no street address in here okay this one has a full street address and a phone number right so more information is under this customer okay so I'm gonna actually merge then because it's going to keep whatever one you merge into right it's going to keep the vendor information that the one you merge into has. So I want to keep all this information because this vendor has more information even though ultimately I'm going to call it City of East Bayshore. Okay, lots of stuff there. <laughs> Alright, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, since this is the one I want to keep, I'm going to right click and edit the vendor. It already comes highlighted over the vendor name. This field here is a field that has to be unique. So I want to copy, just hit Control C I'm going to copy that name. And again, I do this just because there could be some extra spaces and little, you know, marks in there that I just can't see with my eyes. So then I go into City of East Bay Shore and I'm going to right click and edit the vendor. So this time, again, it stays highlighted over vendor name. I'm going to paste Control V. So now it has the exact same name as the one I wanted to merge into. Okay, so then I'm going to say okay. All right, now the system tells me this name is already in use. Would you like to merge them? So I'm going to say yes. So now it merged all of those City of East Bayshores now are merged into the City of Bayshore. Right, and all the information shows up there still, right? The vendor information is still there. Now I'm going to go in here and edit the vendor and call it City of East Bay Shore, right? So now I can move it to the name I want it to be. But it just kind of helps so you don't have to copy a whole bunch of information across as well. Okay, so that's how you merge a vendor uh, when you have duplicate vendors in QuickBooks.